period. For so the, the day I die, I could not agree more. Flyweight. Title up next. Let's meet oh. our warriors. Into the cage. Wow. Another title fight. From the arena the MMA, by way of Tahiti, please welcome Keone Tama Rotua. Yanni Teratua. Oh man, looking calm, composed, and he is just ripped. It looks like solid muscle from head to toe. Three wins, two losses, 23 years old, coming from the arena. The arena's a really... The arena's almost a staple at this title. My man Charles Martinez, their head coach. Uh, coach Chuck in the corner. A legend, if I must say so myself, man. His, up there looking like fat Jesus. Oh, man. He is just so intelligent when it comes to the fight game, though. I must say, like, uh, he works with legend Liz Carmouche. I actually came up with Liz Carmouche, and um, through him, he's actually been able to bring multiple of his teammates to victory. Just looked over and gave us a nod. Oh, yeah. Team. I've been going against Charles since I was a fighter, and then when I became a coach here, I coached against him, too. So it's been a great war and friendship between me and Charles. And Martin. let's welcome love, his opponent. A love-hate relationship. From Rounders Always. MMA. Team Marina in Please the house, welcome. Coach Chuck. Miguel. What an honor to see you here tonight. <laughs> Miguel Sija. Hey, hey, hey. Look at those Get money it. shorts. Are those $100 bills on there? Oh, he's looking for some money. Hey. Maybe somebody going to make it rain if he wins that title. From Rounders MMA, Miguel Siha. If I'm saying that right, I believe it's Siha. Siha. Miguel Siha. That is so fun to say. Siha. 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 It's like a Miha. Right? Or Siha. Or Seha. A, if you get a flawless victory with that bell, uh, there may be some mihas waiting for you. <laughs> I know I'm excited to see some champion. And did you guys know that fight of the night, not only do they win a high key $300 sponsorship, they win a skateboard, they also get to drive the fancy epic car no. that is in the lot. No. They get to drive it. Yes. No. Hey. Yes. Fight of the I night winner gets to drive that. My I'm like, hey, then. if you want someone in the back seat or, you know, like somebody in the passenger side, fight of the night, baby. Put on a show and maybe you'll score a ride with a nice, pretty little lady. I'm sure there's plenty of them in here really excited. All I'm not right, a pretty lady, so and like, <laughs> yes, no. I'm fight. sorry if I win we this sponsored. one. Hey, hey, homie, if you insurance. win, we're coming up for Yeah, we're going we to be fighting for the ride in that epic fighting car because we all know we were trying to drive it, too. Business, life, <laughs> Jason, when you comp, listen to you this, it, Kramer Insurance is here that to protect car with you. Let's go. I, I want to drive it, too. We <laughs> have Hook up your commentators a flyweight epic fighting title on the line. Three three-minute rounds. Let's meet our warriors. Your first gladiator. Fang out of the red corner. He's been in the mixed martial arts with the record of three wins and two losses. He stands fighting six inches tall and weighs already 122.6 pounds. Representing the arena by way of Tahiti. Give it up for Keone Tara. And his opponent, fighting in the blue corner, is fan of the mixed martial arts with a record of three wins and two losses. He stands five feet, seven inches tall, and weighs already 122.6 pounds. Representing Rounders MMA, give it up for Miguel 
Sí. When you talk about For a Reverend pretty evenly the set Kripler. match, Chris both these guys are three and two, and they came in at the exact same 122.6 pounds. That is crazy. Hey, could we see our first epic fighting double knockout? How cool would that be? Two punches at the same time. I mean, a draw is never that fun, but a double knockout would be pretty cool. They're pretty matched that's up still, right now. That still leads to a draw, though, so but no. I'm, just, I'm voting against no of the double knockout. Unless it's, maybe I it's a double it head kick. I think it would be so epic just if to see. If it was a double it. head kick, I'll, I'll go They're for it. They're literally that even, guys. Like, we might see something crazy in here tonight. Here we go. No glove touch. No glove touch. Say how was like, nah, bro. We're going in here to fight. No. He wants to throw putazos. He's here for Keone real. looking for that single leg, but Miguel did a really great job of uh, using his underhooks to stay standing. Nice However, Keone gets that takedown. He gets a little lift, trips him down, and now he's looking in a good position. He's kind of in this quarter guard position. Miguel regains Seha, his guard. Right back to full guard. Beautiful move. Now he's pushing his hips. See if he can get like we saw in the last fight. Some action guard action. Crazy arm bar. However, I would Triangle. like to see Keone use his fight stance. What this means uh -oh. is putting one knee in the middle oh, nice to punch. start passing the guard. Keone with some good ground and pound right now. Push that him overhand up, that right cage. landed right on the uh -oh. kisser. That's a, that's a weird position right here. However, his arm's already oh. free. Uh, looking for that leg lock is he Miguel. He can't go for a knee bar. Miguel he can't leave is it looking straight. He, had, he can go for a straight knee bar or a straight ankle Our lock, but no legal. twisting, no twisting knee locks. So he can go for the sweep with the heel hook, but Chris would probably stop him you and send him back up. You can also start to bait the legs to attack yes. the arms. This is something I do in my competitions often. I will attack the leg when they reach their arm in to defend it. I try to break your arm. We could see some sneaky jujitsu here. Yeah, I'm hoping so. But right now. Miguel said he's in a bad spot. I mean, it's still kind of 50-50. He's not really getting ground and pounded. However, he is losing on the position. Exactly. That's why it's a bad spot. Tione, he's got, he got out of that weird position now. He's looking to pass. But Seha's putting him right back into that full guard. Crazy legs. I would like to see a stand back up from Miguel Seha. Man, he needs to work his way back to his He's feet using now. some upper kicks, but he needs to be careful that that upper kick doesn't nice. land right on the jaw of Kaneomi because. He used that De La Hiva oh, position to get right to his feet. Beautiful head, body kick. Body back kick by Seha, nice. Oh, they're letting the leather go now. Kicks are go. just even right now. Back and forth across the cage. Oh, Seha has got, he's coming in because he found his range. He's, he's excited ready to fight too. Now. He's like, listen, you let me back up. Now we're throwing it down. But Keone is just staying really heavy on that single leg. Yeah, no, he, he wants no part of the striking. Miguel doing a good job of defending. Gets free. Good pressure on the cage. Now, if he can get another takedown, it'd be a nice way to steal his However, steal if his Miguel. Round can use one of his legs to push off the cage, create a little distance. He can circle out right now. Oh, nice. He's not stuck on the cage. Well, that's the end of the first round. I would have to give that round to And it is yeah, just Keone. so cool to see legend Chris the Crippler leaving repping this fight. Seriously? Can you just imagine? Oh, You're man. like, oh my God. I got a legend repping my fight. That would just motivate me would so you, incredibly would, hard. Would you want to take a time out during a fight and be like, hey, can I get your autograph, bro? You know, Chris is is so cool. He actually goes over to both fighters, and I've seen all the fights that he has repped. He's double knuckled. And here we go with that takedown. Nice takedown over Keone. Shelved that knee. See how he shelved the knee to pick him up and trip him down? Beautiful. Really nice technique. It's high level chain wrestling right there. You won't get him with the first combo, but you just keep running down the pike and putting in other, other moves. And you know, if you try to dump it forward, it's not working. Going the opposite direction, backwards in this Beautiful. case. Very smart Works. technique. We're talking about fighting people. It's not rocket science. <laughs> we're, we're not going to reinvent the wheel. It can be, though. Sometimes <laughs> when I'm trying to put together my kickboxing and my Muay Thai, I'm like, this is rocket science. 
And then somebody shows me a crazy wild jiu-jitsu move and I get it immediately, so. <laughs> Each their it happens. Own. Oh, here we go. Oh, nice head kick by Tayani. Tayani's trying to get this going. Look nice at that. leg kick. Feet switch. He's going from regular to southpaw quite often. He's constantly switching his feet, and it makes it really hard for Miguel to read exactly where he's going. Because Miguel's beautiful leg kick. Miguel wants to throw power strikes only with the hands. Keone is being very tricky with his leg movement. Hard nice catch. Read. Can he finish this takedown now? I do believe. I he think he can. made a mistake by letting that leg down. However, he's almost got the double unders. He can switch the leg. He's got. He's looking for a double leg. If he switches to a single and pulls out that leg, he may have some success. Same. And a slam. Same takedown from the last time. Got under that knee, popped him up, elevated him back door. I like how he took his right leg and kind of stapled between the two. From this position, he can really put heavy pressure, pass the guard right into side control right into or mount. into mount. Beautiful. Now if he could just push his hips forward. However, he's having trouble because Miguel's doing a good job at using his elbows to push that leg from mount and back into quarter guard. And now he's trapping that foot. Now he's going back into quarter guard. Quarter guard Beautiful. just means that you don't have the full leg trapped. He is trapped from the ankle down, which is stopping him from transitioning into mount or side control. Quarter guard is like last leg for Miguel to hold on before he's mounted and in an absolutely terrible position. But doing a great job with his arms. What if you're from the 10th Planet system? I love quarter guard. I know, me too. I'm <laughs> like, man, I'm, I like a position called dogfight where you reach for an underhook and you come up, start to take the back. But Keone, Keone just a little bit too now. powerful. Just, he's just pressure right now. He's not, no damage has been done. No ground and pound. There's our first punch on the ground, and that's from the guy on the it's bottom. It's almost like he's trying to mentally demoralize him with control. He's like, I'm going to control you. I'm going to stay heavy on you until you give me a position where I can look for a finish. Well, if he can make Miguel just blow his load I'd trying like to get up. I'd like to see it's a staple. Fight. What that means is if Keone can take his left leg, slide under the armpit, and staple that arm down where he can't use that arm, he can land some heavy strikes and transition into all kinds of submissions. Keone covering his mouth now, but... Clusha Lehman already told them to push the action. He's going to stand him up in a second. This guy is just sitting there holding him down. This There's 25 seconds left. It's important needs, to chase the action. He needs the action. He, no. However, Keone using that mouth, car, that mouth cover like that, it's really uncomfortable and super annoying. I've had it done to me previously, and it's not the worst, but it's just a really uncomfortable position. Oh. Very controlling round two. I would Not have to give that action, round to Keone from the arena. He controlled that whole entire round. Yeah. Two minutes and Coach 45 Ed, seconds. On the the cut man going in there to check on both fighters, and they are both okay. Here we go. A little stand up action. Nice leg kick. Nice punch. Keone moving around. Catches that kick, but. He gets the takedown eventually, but just not enough action. So hopefully they can pick it up in this third round and, and come give the fans what they want to see. I know they're trying to just show their best and get through this fight. Somebody will want to go home with the title, but you got to leave it all on the line. I want to see. I would love to see a little bit more action from Keone from these dominant positions. If he can cause some damage and finish this fight, that's what's going to win him the fight of the night. With the fight of the night, you win a Cali Strong Longboard. You win a $300 gift card to Heike. You win a ride and the epic fighting whip. Like, oh, man. You get to I, drop the Lambo, bro. That's so crazy. I would be hustling 20-fold looking for any finish possible. Oh, oh wow. Keone with a nice straight right but also catching a kick simultaneously for a beautiful takedown. He, right now, he needs to press the action. Now it is dire straight time for both guys. Keone can just sit up top, but oh, nice up kick. Is up that kick legal? Again. That is, is that legal as long as he's standing. Locks oh, up triangle. a triangle, triangle, looking for that arm bar. A beautiful can we see it again? position from Miguel. Can we see it again? Oh man, it's there's tight. two minutes and 20 seconds it's left. Tight. It is a three minute round for a title. 
he's stuck here. He, needs he is to pull stuck that here for a while. Down. This is a very dangerous position for Keone. And beautiful movement from Miguel. Being the underdog, we may see another armbar here. If he would like the armbar, he can unlock his triangle, switch to above the head. Or I don't think he, he can has finish, that arm bar He can start to finish the triangle by, by pulling that head down or trying with to get that, that right angle. hand. He can use his right hand to swim underneath the body and lock it up extra tight. We call it in Ted Planet the Omaha Twist. I actually finished a fight with this in Mexico. The Omaha Twist is a really good option. However, he needs to get that right arm across the body. Nice. Looking for the arm arm bar, arm bar. transitioning. We can see a finish here. Oh, but Back to the triangle. Keone just staying Back super strong. He's bar. almost out. Arm bar again. Oh, and Keone and is out. Oh, oh, my God. Wow. This dude is out. That, was that is jujitsu defense, people. Keone. Jiu-Jitsu defense. Beautiful. Absolutely refusing to lose this fight. He wants that belt. A beautiful a attack from Miguel. Position. However, that finish could cut. Not finishing that fight from that position can cost him the fight. Right now, he is down on points. He needs to get out of there and find that submission. Uh, that was Miguel Seha's chance. <gasps> Keone is looking for a Darce right now. Miguel needs to get his back flat to the mat. Punch, punch, punch. Yes. Miguel needs to go all out to get up right at this point. That grip, though, it's still pretty dangerous right there. That arm under, he's looking for a Darce. Yeah, he's definitely going for something, but I think Keone's just happy Holding right him. now to, just to hold him down, Yeah. get another round under his belt, and he can go home with a title. He's looking for that Darce finish, though. He's starting to pick it up, up a little bit. Ends up inside control. Miguel in a very defensive. He's got that Darce locked up. Oh, nice. Oh, this Beautiful. is a tightly locked in Darce. If Keone can get to the mount position, which he is almost there, we can see a finish. Miguel's doing a really good job of he's bringing his right arm. He's trying to bring it up and under the back. Ten seconds what to go. What an exciting way can to finish Miguel this round. On. I think I see a little blood. I'm not sure where that's coming from. And time. And it was over. Keone feeling fight. very confident that he got that fight win. I'm pretty and confident he got that fight win. A frustrated Miguel. Three rounds, standing three Standing up, feeling a little frustrated. Keone thinking the gods, his ancestors, whatever it is that he believes in, he dropped to give a thanks. He thanks his opponent and his opponent's coach. Showing a sign of respect by going down on two knees. Here we got the replay coming up soon. Well-deserved win. And here we go, mixing it up on the feet again. Keone with that power right hand. It's interesting the blood on the center of Miguel Siha's body. If you can see, I'm, not, I'm unsure where that blood came from. I don't. I'm not 100% sure. This is the nose. I'm always curious. I'm like, where are you hurt? Mm -hmm. And Keone, the money man. The I money don't think man. he has. I don't think he has a nickname yet. Well, we just gave him one. If you listen to this, the money man. The money man. Keone, the money man. Hun Taro Tua. Hundred dollars bills, y'all. Mr. Money, coming for it and taking home that win. He going home with some money. Got that nice strappy belt. What about those new Epic gloves, bro? Seriously, though. Right. How can they? They just continue to just... Back in my day, it was all camo oh. fighting gloves. You didn't even have the opportunity. Yeah, seriously. They just keep raising the bar, show after show. You go from sponsored shorts to epic fighting gloves. That is crazy. A very excited Keone right now. He's celebrating with his corner. Can't quite hear what he's saying. The money man! Let's go. He don't even know yet, but we named him the money man. The money man. he just get used to it. I'm going to tell his corner.
going to be a great day for Keone. He's going to find out. He's going to be He's the new epic champion. And the double champ squad just I think just his corner is like him. the nickname, the money man. All right, ladies and gentlemen, give it up for these two. Another epic battle. It appears his nickname is actually the bat. Keone the bat. Yeah, we After three that. phenomenal no. rounds, we know the judges' scorecards. <laughs> your first judge you scores about choice. 29, you fights, buddy. 28. And your next two judges scored about 30, 27. For your winner, by unanimous decision, a new epic fighting flyweight champion, Keone Tava Rotua! Keone Tara Rotua. The new epic 125 champ. That's what, it's, that's what you dream of when you first start coming into this cage to hold one of those titles. And we both have one of those at home. I actually gave mine away to my team. It is located in our box. When you walk into 10th Plain of San Diego, you can see my epic fighting belt. Uh, no, mine at the crib, homie. Right? I get to look at mine every day right next to my submission of the night trophy. Oh, you got the trophy? Oh, yeah. Jelly. I've always won it. Earlier we were talking about it. I'm like, man, I want one of those trophies. <laughs> you know, I got a belt and a trophy. I, I was satisfied with my epic career. There we go. Win, 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 win. 